Leslie McKinnon, CBC News, Ottawa. If you could, would you change your life? Seems many Canadians are rethinking what's important. And for a growing number, making money and achieving career success is not where it's at. There are actual numbers on this. A new poll suggests people are making significant life changes, all to live life to the fullest. Lori Graham has the story. This is a tale of three lives, people who are part of a growing trend toward personal fulfillment. Uh, so while we're Meet Tracy Barber. Bit, try to think about your core. And she teaches Pilates, helping people find their core and feel and good. And as you're exhaling, you're going to walk the hands out four times. One, two, three, four. She didn't always work from a mat. She used to be a high-tech engineer, but after years of staring at a computer all day, she says she needed more. For me, this has been it's meant longevity, so there's trade-offs. You're, you're happier, you're healthier, um, and it's about being rich in things of the spirit. What, what is your deepest heart's desire? With your this life coach helps people who want to make a change, but she says it's a classic yin and yang struggle. That is, for me, the basis for success, listening to your heart and doing whatever it takes to make it happen. But we don't do it. Why? Because of fear. Dale Reed didn't seem to have any fear when she made some dramatic changes in her life. She switched careers and genders, from a man to a woman, from a Bay Street banker to a photographer, all after her partner became ill. You can't have regrets from the past, can't worry about the future. You got to deal with today and make the most of today. Well, that's really following their heart and caring for an, an ailing partner. I, I've seen that often. When you are facing death, what's important in life becomes very important. Come on, let's go. Yvette Divertai says she's doing just that. She worked as an executive assistant in an ad agency, but she says it just wasn't meaningful. So she found a few four-legged clients and joy at the end of a leash. It's surprisingly fulfilling. I, I mean, I wondered at first, would I get bored of it and would I miss working with people? But I get as much from the animals as they give to me. The life experience survey of more than a thousand Canadians found more than a quarter want a fuller life. It's beautiful. When, whenever I see anybody being able to listen to their heart and take the action steps to make it come true, um, I know that these people will have more energy, will have more joy, have more fun. Three people who followed their hearts and never looked back. Lori Graham, CBC News, Toronto. Still to come, we debunk some of the misconceptions about the swine flu vaccine. And we visit a place with a short-sighted policy.